Alright, welcome to the 100th episode of Grave Time, and my name is Christian Apple, let's get to this. Last year, toward the end of the summer, I was doing a little bit of cleaning, and uh, was going through some boxes in my closet, and I uh, came across a box full of stuffed animals, and inside this box of stuffed animals from my childhood... I found this guy. This is my childhood stuffed animal. Yeah, it's not an animal, but um, this is something I've had, I think, since the mid 80s. So I was probably maybe about, I might have been about four or five years old, maybe, when I got this. And, um, and this was like my stuffed animal. And, you know, as a kid, we all have a stuffed animal of some kind. Um, obviously, I was a weird kid, and somehow I, I had a, this connection. And um, for those who don't know, I really am into jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins, and I collect a lot of that stuff. And Halloween, at one point, was like my favorite holiday out, out of all of them. But mainly because the opportunity to go to Vacaville, uh, to the nut tree to the uh, Great Scarecrow Pumpkin Patch. And I'm pretty sure that's where a lot of the fascination with jack-o'-lanterns and Halloween and all that fun stuff came from. And that's probably why this thing was such an interest to me. Um, I believe my aunt bought this at one of the local grocery stores in Sacramento called... either It was either Rayleigh's or Bel Air... And, um, and the only one that would have existed near her, because she lived in Elk Grove, the closest one would probably be the one that was, that was originally located on, um, gosh, I guess that would have been the inner, basically at the corner of Mack Road and Franklin Boulevard. And, uh, that was before Elk Grove had the huge boom and everything and became a city and, Anywho, that was the grocery store that they would go to, and I guess they had a section of Halloween stuff, and she saw this and thought of me and got it, and this was a gift for me for Halloween, and it basically, that's a little tattered. When I moved out of my dad's house in March of, well, started the process of packing things up back in March of 2014, which was, um... It's almost now been six years. Um, I thought I boxed this up, but I wasn't sure where I put it. And there was some speculation that maybe it was in a box in my garage. And I went through all the boxes throughout my house. Some, for whatever reason, I didn't go through this particular box that was in one of the closets. But uh, the theory or thought was that maybe my dad threw this away in the process of him trying to sell the house that he was at. Um... And uh, he, I remember my dad said he looked on eBay trying to find, trying to find this thing or whatever, and he couldn't find it. And um, there was a, a lady that lived two doors down to the right, and um, she worked at. It was either Rayleigh's or Bel Air, and right before they were moving, they had like a, a garage sale, and in their garage they had one of these. But it was like five foot tall and it was wide. It was like probably as big as I am, just, you know, maybe a foot and a half shorter. And the uh, thing was huge. And she said that, you know, they were going to get rid of it. And she said, no, she'd take it. And uh, I don't know what happened to it. And, um, but anyways, this is my stuffed animal from my childhood. And um, I wanted to find something interesting to share with all of you for the 100th episode of Grave Time. Uh, I always knew that I would make it to 100 episodes, but I never knew if I would make it past 100. And, um, anyways, I did name this stuffed animal, even though it's not a stuffed animal, I named him Pumpkin Man. And Pumpkin Man is definitely over 30 years old and still in pretty darn good condition. And, um, yeah, I was so excited when I found it. Uh, my dad was on a cruise. And um, I remember texting him saying, I found Pumpkin Man. I even took a picture of it and I sent it to him. 
and oh man, it was such a great moment. And um, anywho, thank you so much for watching this episode. I know we're not in the cemetery, but got some great cemetery videos coming up. Got some great lost landmark videos coming up here soon. It's 2020. It's a new year. It's a new decade, and I have great um, ambitions for grave time. So uh, please continue to watch the videos. Uh, if you're first time watching the, these videos, please subscribe. Uh, make sure you hit the bell uh, to be notified when I post a video. You know, down in the comments, um, if you had a stuffed animal as a child, leave down in the comments what was what was your stuffed animal? Did you have a name for them? Uh, do you still have it? You know, uh, is it something you plan on passing down to your children? Um, I don't have kids, 38 years old, still single, and um, and I still got my stuffed animal from my childhood. What does that tell you about me? <laughs> uh, anyways, thank you so much. More great videos, some grave time coming soon. God bless you all. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Bye! Bye-bye! Thanks for watching. Can you say 100 episodes of Grave Time? Huh? Come on. You can say it. 100 episodes of Grave Time. Come on. Uh-huh. No? Okay.